Hi students. Now this chapter is going to be very very interesting. It's going to be a bit different, you know, from the previous chapters. In this chapter we're going to learn about how soaps and detergents clean clothes. Take a look at this, you know, black spot on this white t-shirt. Once we wash this t-shirt with the soap, the spot vanishes. So, how did the dirt vanish? How do soaps and detergents work? That's what we're going to learn in this chapter. Soaps and detergents. Let's proceed. Now before we learn about the action of soap and detergent, we have to first learn about the structure of soap. What does soap actually consist of? Well, soap in general consists of the sodium and potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acids. What this means is that different soaps are basically the sodium salts of carboxylic acids or the potassium salts of carboxylic acids. Take a look at this structure of soap here. As you can see there's a long carbon carbon chain here. At the end of this carbon chain there's a carboxylic acid group whose hydrogen has been replaced by sodium. So basically you know soaps have names like sodium stearate. Understood? So basically sodium salts of carboxylic acid groups form soap. This is the structure of a soap molecule. This is one example of a soap molecule, sodium stearate. The chemical formula of sodium stearate is C17H35COONA. What this means is, you know, that the carboxylic acid which has 17 carbons, when you replace the hydrogen of that carboxylic acid with a sodium ion, you get soap, sodium stearate. Similarly, there are many other compounds, you know, which can also be part of soap. But the crux is that there should always be a sodium salt of a carboxylic acid. One interesting property of soaps is that soaps are basic in nature. Understood? They are basic, you know, because soap is what? Soap is the salt of a carboxylic acid. We know that carboxylic acids are weak acids and sodium salts of weak acids are basic in nature. Isn't it? After all, salts which are formed by a strong base and a weak acid are basic in nature. That's why soap is basic in nature. So the soap that we use will actually turn red litmus blue. That is fascinating, but that is true. So this was the structure of soap. But how does soap actually act, you know, and how does it clean the clothes? Well, every soap particle, every soap molecule consists of two ends. One end is called the hydrophilic end and the other end is called the hydrophobic end. The hydrophilic end is the sodium containing end, the end which contains the sodium ion, you know, the end which has the COONA, a hydrophilic end and a hydrophobic end. The hydrophilic end is the end that contains the sodium ion. The hydrophobic end is the other end of this carboxylic acid, you know, the end which has carbon and hydrogen. Now the important property of the hydrophilic end is that it attracts water. Understood? So whenever there's water, this end will want to come in contact with water. The hydrophobic end on the other hand repels water. So you know, it will want to go away from the water. The sodium end of the sodium salt of the carboxylic acid here attracts water while the hydrophobic end repels water. And this property, this property of one end being hydrophilic, attracting water and one end repelling water this is what, you know, gives soap its special cleaning property. Another interesting fact is that the hydrophobic end, the end of the soap molecule which repels water, actually gets attached to oil and grease. So one end of the soap gets attached to oil and grease and one end gets attached to water. Now this was the property of the soap molecule. Let's actually see how a soap molecule removes dirt. When we add soap to water, what happens is that, you know, all the soap molecules form a circular aggregate like this. Now these black dots here are basically sodium ends of the soap molecule. The red chains here are carboxylic acid chains. The sodium ends are outwards while the carboxylic acid chains are inwards and they are attracted to each other, you know, because they repel water. All of them repel water and so they come close together to stay as away from water as possible. On the other hand, the sodium ions attract water and so they are outwards, so they come in contact with as much water as possible. So basically, every soap molecule forms this sort of circular aggregate or circular structure when soap is added to water. So basically, 
these red ends here are the hydrophobic ends they repel water and they attract oil these black ends here which have the sodium ion are hydrophilic ends they attract water and that's why they are trying to get exposed to as much water as possible this circular structure or this circular spherical aggregate of soap molecules is called a micelle understood so soap forms micelles when you know it is added to water what does a micelle have a micelle has different hydrophobic ends of the soap molecules near each other and it has this hydrophilic ends spread wide apart in the form of a sphere understood so this spherical aggregate called micelle is formed when soap is added to water now how does this spherical aggregate help in removing dirt when there is a dirt particle the micelle actually surrounds the dirt particle like this so all of these red carbon chains with the hydrophobic ends get attracted towards the dirt the sodium ends or the hydrophilic ends stay away from the dirt they don't get attracted to oil or grease they get attracted to the water so they are in contact with the water thus the micelle basically traps the dirt particle like this understood so this is the first step in the action of soap on dirt particles now what happens is these micelles trap the dirt particles and when the water flows off the dirt particles trapped by the micelles keep flowing off you see generally dirt particles are insoluble in water but what happens is these micelles these spherical aggregates they trap the dirt particles and they make them soluble in water so the dirt particles which are initially insoluble they get dispersed in water and they get removed by water because of the formation of micelles understood so this is how soap acts and removes the dirt particles i'll repeat it for you first you know soap molecules form a micelle or a spherical aggregate around the dirt particles they form that because the hydrophobic ends or oil attracting ends of the soap molecules they touch and surround the dirt particle the hydrophilic ends point away from the dirt particles so basically a spherical aggregate is formed this spherical aggregate traps the dirt particles and you know it removes the dirt particles as the water flows off this is how the soap acts on clothes and cleans them understood so this is something very important that you must remember here's in fact an experiment that you can easily perform at home that tells you you know about the formation of micelles and the action of soap so what soap basically does is it makes oil and grease dissolve in water by forming spherical micelles you know which trap the oil drops and which then get dispersed in water so if you take two mixtures of oil and water initially you will see that the oil is floating above the water because oil and water don't mix now if you add some soap in one of the test tubes you will see that the oil and water will mix and they will form a solution understood at least they'll form a dispersed kind of solution so basically soap helps oil dissolve in water or grease dissolve in water and then when the water is washed off the dirt also gets washed off that is how soap works there you go a milky oil and water emulsion is formed when soap is added to the oil water mixture let's solve a problem related to the action of soap take a look at the figure below well this figure clearly depicts what we had just studied it depicts the action of soap on a dirt particle what is being depicted in the figure what is the large unevenly shaped gray substance in the middle and what are the thin strips sticking to it what is the property of the sodium ion end of the chains sticking to the gray substance what is the sphere formed by the chains in the picture that are surrounding the gray substance called well this question has many parts but all these parts are easy let's solve each part one by one here's the picture the first part says what is being depicted clearly the removal of dirt particles by soap is being depicted in this picture you can see that different soap molecules have surrounded the dirt particle and they are trying to remove the dirt particle what is the large unevenly shaped gray substance in the middle and what are the thin strips sticking to it clearly the gray substance in the middle is the dirt particle the thin strips sticking to it are the hydrophobic ends of the soap molecules 
What is the property of the sodium ion end of the chains sticking to the grey substance? Well, the property of the sodium ion end of the chains is that these ends are hydrophilic. They attract water. That's the property of the sodium ion end of the soap molecules. What is the sphere formed by the chains in the picture that are surrounding the grey substance called? Well, the sphere that the soap molecules form is definitely called a missile. There is no doubt about it, isn't it? So that's the final answer. This question had many parts, but each part was asking us, you know, only a simple question about the action of soap on dirt particles. Let's now move on to the next concept. Soap and hard water. 